If you're thinking about building a mud house, before you build a mud house, you gotta make sure that you have the right kind of mud. Because you need to make sure that you have the right kind of bricks. So, how do you get the right mud bricks? You get that by having the right texture of mud. And today, we're gonna get into how is it that you find out if your soil is the right soil for making mud bricks? That right there is our mixing pit. That's where we get in and do all our mixing. And you'll find that in how to make the mud bricks video that's up in the link somewhere here. Right. But what is the right mud brick? The definition of a right mud brick uh, for me at least, uh, is definitely this one. Because this is a very good looking brick. It has not cracked. If you look at the surface of it, you see very less cracks on the structure, right? That means the brick is strong. This brick weighs about eight to nine kilos. That's about what, 16 to 20 pounds. For those of you not familiar with the metric system, right? So it is a fairly heavy brick and uh, as uh, if you look into the videos of the Island, the main house structure that we created required about 1,500 mud bricks. So how do we choose the right soil? Well, in fact, we're just outright lucky that in this area, we have the right kind of soil. And you can look over here and by like just picking up the soil and you notice the fact that the, it kind of holds its structure after you compress it. So this is sign of a, a fairly high content of clay in the soil. But how do you go about testing this? How do you know what's the right kind of soil? For that, we need to, first of all, just get the very basics of technicality about soil. Well, the technicality of it is right here. Soil exists in, well, in millions and millions of variations. But the three key elements in soil are clay, sand, and silt. And you need to have them in the right proportion for making the right brick. So if you look over here, Pinom is right now preparing some soil for testing. And you can clearly see that we have a fairly high clay content here. But it's not just clay that's important. Sand is important too, and so is silt. You need about 20 to 30% of clay in your mixture of mud so that you can find the right amount of greenness for it and the right kind of brick can be made. What happens when you have too much clay? Let's go take a look. Over here you can see what happens when you have uh, too much clay and not enough sand. So as you can tell the main benefit of sand uh, is the fact that it prevents cracks within the mud brick. That's really important. So sand is a very important element too. But too much sand means that your mud brick's not even going to stay together. And the third most important thing is silt. Silt is important so that it fills up the tiny little spaces in between your mud brick, giving you a beautiful and healthy looking mud brick that you can build a lovely mud house with. All right, the first method to test whether your soil has enough clay is the hand method. And how do you do that? You take soil that you have collected. This is some of the soil that we've just collected from the, from the area. And you basically just mix it up, right? Mix it up, uh, add a bit of water to it if needed, but uh, not too much. You don't want it to get like too, uh, too wet. Uh, once you've got the right amount, I've kind of prepped my hand here. Now you've got, as I add more water, it's gonna get a little uh, sticky, watery. And eventually I just wanna paste it over my hand. And you can look at this, my hand is completely covered in mud, right? And it's a little pasty. Uh, the next test that I wanna do is I wanna take my hand and I'm going to dip my hand into a bucket of water. A bucket of water that I have right over here. Now, if my hand comes out with all the mud pretty much intact on it, most of it, I'd say 95% of it or 90% of it intact, that's a great sign. That means that that's the perfect kind of soil that I need because 
the clay is making sure that uh, everything sticks to everything else. So I already have my hand over here and I'm gonna do the hand test, right? And in it goes into that. And then as I bring my hand out, you can notice the fact that pretty much everything is intact. There's a tiny piece of soil over here. There's a chunk over here that might just about fall off right now. And there you go. That's that's a chunk of soil that I put on much later. But pretty much most of the mud stayed on my hand, right? Uh, over time, of course, if I keep it like that, it'll and I spread my hand, it'll start to fall off in chunks. But that is a clear example of the fact that uh, I've got enough uh, clay in my soil. Method number two is the sausage test. So how do we do the sausage method? Sausage method is actually uh, quite simple. You again take soil, mix it up a bit, mash it up a bit so that uh, there's not much space left in between it. After that, what you want to do is you want to kind of elongate it. Don't go too fast, you might break the mud. The sausage test really is about how long can you make the sausage, right? Because uh, the longer you can make the sausage, clearer sign that the clay is strong enough to hold on to the top. So this is actually quite good. So I think I've got about like 30 centimeters here at length. So that's quite a long sausage. And despite it's thinner in some areas and longer and, and, and fatter in some areas, despite that, the soil is still able to hold on to things. But it hasn't broken yet. So generally, I would say anything about 20 to 30 centimeters, which is great, 20 centimeters, proof that all things are good and this is good mud for building a mud house. Now, if you're really into making your mud house, don't forget to click like and subscribe and look into the mud house playlist on the Owlland channel so that you understand the whole process of making the mud house. So you know how to test your mud. Use the hand method, use the sausage method, and you'll know if your soil is right for building mud houses. And then let's get into making those lovely mud bricks. And don't forget to check out the video in the link to see how you can make your mud bricks. And there's a whole bunch of other things that you need to be aware about when building a mud house. Go through our videos, and I hope you're able to build your mud house very soon.